Do you have a boring filing cabinet? I bet you've seen them in the thrift store. Let me show you how I gave a boring filing cabinet an amazing makeover with tin tiles and paint. Hey everyone, I'm Amber Oliver. Welcome to my channel where I share colorful DIYs, crafts, and life. For this project, we're using a file cabinet I actually got for free. I started by removing all the hardware on the fronts of the drawers. I used both a Phillips head and a flat tip screwdriver for this. Be sure you keep all your screws and pieces together so you can put them all back easily when you're done. If your cabinet needs cleaning, this is also a good time to do that. Next, measure the fronts of your drawers. Use these measurements and mark on the tin tiles where to cut. Big disclaimer here, this project can be dangerous. Not to sound dramatic, but like with any project I share and really any project you find on the internet, you should always take proper safety precautions. This means always wearing safety glasses, using proper ventilation, earplugs when needed, and in this case, wearing gloves. The gloves I used for this project were rubber coated. I'll link them for you so you can find something similar if you're wanting to try this project. Tin snips work great for cutting these tiles. You just have to go really slowly. The tin tiles can be incredibly sharp, so be very careful when you're cutting them. Now it's time to start attaching the tiles to your filing cabinet. You need a really strong adhesive for this, so I'll also link the one I used for you below. Before moving on to painting, I recommend sanding any of the rough areas of the tin tile. You can use an electric sander, a sanding block, even a Dremel. Another idea is to use caulk or glue along those cut edges of the tile where they meet the drawer. You just want to cover the sharp edge so you don't hurt yourself opening the drawer. Once you add paint, you're not going to see anything anyways. After finishing this project, I realized a few more great ideas. Instead of using tin tiles, you could also use textured wallpaper. It's lightweight, cheaper than those tiles, and you won't have to worry about the sharp edges. I also found some peel and stick tiles that would have been really great for this as well. Another idea is PVC tiles. I didn't even know these existed. I will link some of the other options for you below. That's really the joy of doing these upcycle type projects. You can customize anything either by painting or by finding these fun ways to add different textures and totally change the piece. After your drawer fronts are covered, go ahead and drill the holes so you can reattach the hardware. You may have to sand a little bit too. 
but don't reattach that hardware quite yet. Now it's time for paint. This is the part you can obviously make your own. I opted to paint the entire cabinet since I do not like black. Alternatively, you could just paint the fronts. Another idea is to use contact paper or something else to cover the sides. Go crazy! If it's going in your house, then you get to decide what it looks like. Once your paint is dry, you'll reattach all your hardware. When you put your hardware back on, you could also swap out the handles if you wanted. Adding a different pool is a great way to give this file cabinet makeover a custom look. Seeing the before and after shows you what a transformation this filing cabinet really made. After completing this project and finding so many other ways you could do this left me feeling really inspired. I hope this project inspires you to do your own filing cabinet makeover. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.